What's up, Myco fam? Jesse here with the Humble Fungus. Humble Fungus. So, um, I'm about to head off to the hardware store and buy some toys. Um, but before I do that, uh, I've actually been getting pinged with questions. Uh, where did I buy my flow hoods? Uh, what are they? Uh, etc. So, let me break it down. Uh, a flow hood is actually just a clean room fan filter unit. So uh, it's a 99% pure HEPA filter, as you can see right here, with a pre-filter and a giant blower, right? So at its base, you can build a uh, laminar flow hood by going and getting a filter, building a box, adding a fan, Bob's your uncle. So what's the problem with that? Uh, the laminar flow hoods that you're going to build or um, kind of cobble together with parts are going to be big and bulky. And uh, the reason why is clean room FFUs actually use um, a patented build design to lower the profile and uh, basically make this all super inline. These are actually meant, you can see these hangers right here, these are actually meant to be hung from the ceiling and provide a clean working space for an entire table or um, be part of a clean room setup where you're doing positive pressure work. Uh, so, that all being said, this is a clean room fan filter unit. You can find these on eBay or you can find them on Craigslist or anywhere else like that. This one's been used. Uh, you can get a lot of runtime on these as long as you clean them, maintain them, uh, change the pre filter as frequently as you can, um, you know, things like that. They come in two power modes 120 or 220. Uh, I've only got access to 120 on the side, so I've got the 120 model. Now, when they pull these out of labs, if you don't buy a new one, right so if you get a new one it'll probably come in two boxes it'll come with like the filter separated and you'll assemble it blah 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 blah. this was actually removed from a clean room so it was removed from a laboratory they pop the power off easy fix i'm gonna go to the hardware store and with these tools i'm going to get an extension cable and I'm gonna make a new 120 volt power cable. After I'm done, I will happily have another four feet of flow hood space. So, bottom line price. Uh, I have gotten, this flow hood was $600 before freight shipping. So freight shipping was $150, $200. So all told, six, seven, eight, $800. Um, this one was $400 before shipping, and so it came out to a total of $600. So that's $600 US for over three feet, three by four. Like this thing's massive. Um, I think this is gonna be my new primary workstation once I get it fixed. So, pretty good deal. So yeah. Um, you can build, uh, the, the filters, if you were to buy a filter that size and try to part it with your own fan, I would imagine the filter alone would be $500 or more. We're talking like $800 worth of HEPA filter before you buy the necessary fan, power, the box, etc. And like I said, the box you're going to in a building for something like this, it's gonna look like an organ, right? I know, I built them. So, anyways, check out eBay, check out Craigslist. You're looking for clean room fan filter units. Uh, if you're near a city, like I am, uh, there's a place in Denver called Modular Clean Rooms of Denver. You probably have some place uh, around you like that, right? So. You can go and get one of these $400 to $600 before shipping. This is a food table. 
It is a stainless steel food grade table. You can go to any restaurant supply um, in your area. Hopefully you have one. Uh, if not, you can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them from Uline. You can buy them from God. Like, Anyways, that is a stainless steel food prep table. They shouldn't cost you more than a couple hundred bucks. And so they are perfect for putting your flow hood on because as you can see, I get a complete, nice, clean, easy to clean working surface. Right? It's also heat resistant, which will come in handy later when I use the heat gun to seal plates. So anyways, that's a quick explainer under six minutes. Have a good Sunday.